Today we're going to cover the task of running check disk on your Windows hard drive. Uh, a lot of people don't do this often as they should and uh, it should be done quickly. We're going to click on my computer and then we're going to right click on my hard drive, go down and select properties. From properties we all want to click on the tools tab and uh, notice there's a lot of there's about half half the drive free there. You have error checking and defrag, and then of course backup. Now the error checking uh, should always be done, uh, which is check disk, should always be done before you defragment the drive. We're going to mark both check boxes to have it fix the uh, errors, tell it to start. Now it gives us a warning that we can't do this without exclusive access. We tell it OK, and what it's doing is it's going to set it up to where the next time we restart, uh, then we should be able to very quickly uh, go ahead and, and do our check disk. Our check disk now will run upon re uh, reboot and uh, you'll notice that it uh, has to go through a complete shutdown. Uh, check disk has to have exclusive access also it runs uh, primarily in a DOS environment so uh, you're gonna have you're gonna have to wait for it to reboot. Uh, what I've done here is I've I've cut out some chunks of, of time in the uh, video so that you don't have to uh, sit there and wait. But you'll notice the window starts up uh, initially and then what happens after it starts up initially is that it goes into a DOS mode where it, uh, where, where it can run the, um, or I should say not a DOS mode, really a text mode, where it can run the, uh, the, the check disk. Now, it gives you a warning saying, well, you've got to do it within so many seconds. Uh, in this case, we're not going to worry about it. We're going to go ahead and let it run. And the first couple of tests usually go pretty fast, so I've actually got those real time. Uh, whenever you get to the other tests, tests uh, some of them have to be done uh, without real time. And so I've done that. Uh, so what I've done is I've, I've done some compression here to make, make your life a little easier. But as I said, you always want to run check disk before you defragment your drive. If you do it uh, the other way around, uh, you may lose data, especially if there's some directory damage. That's what check disk does. It fixes your directory, uh, makes sure that, that your hard drive is healthy. Uh, so well, that's what you're doing. If you're telling it uh, you want to do the, the, the complete run, which is what I did with those two check boxes. Now it's going through. You're going to notice we're going to go from like 1 or 2% on on. Uh, 405 to 99%. A real quick jump, uh, it doesn't not normally do that. Normally that one takes uh, a good 5-10 minutes, maybe even longer. Um, step 5 of 5, uh, also I've compressed it a little bit. Uh, you'll jump from, from just a few percent to way up there uh, as far as completion. The idea is that I don't want you to have to sit here for you know 22 minutes, or, uh, which is what this actually took real time uh, to do this. Um, but the important thing is remember, do the check disk and you'll be a lot happier. Uh, once it finishes check disk, it should come back uh, on a reboot, uh, back to the same type of screen, and it should say that the error checking is complete. And that's what you hope to see. Everything uh, should go through uh, very nice and smooth uh, if you do that. So here we go. We're doing a reboot. Uh, I'm sorry about the quality of the video. Unfortunately, I had to do it with a camera. Uh, my screen capture utility was not having, not cannot capture the uh, the screen where the DOS, the DOS stuff is. So I went ahead and just to make life a little easier, I just went ahead and used my uh, my digital camera to record it. So it's not extreme high quality, but you notice it comes up. It says check disk is done. The volume is clean. That's what you want to see. If the volume is clean, you're in great shape. Uh, you can now proceed forward. Next thing that'll happen is it'll go ahead and try to uh, bring up the login screen for Windows, and then we are complete. Come see us at home.earthlink.net forward slash tilde crabby, or you can Google or Bing us at Krabby's Place. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.